What's going on guys? Eric from the Wisco guys. And today's video is going to be something a little different. It's going to be kind of a flashback to my younger days. But yeah, we'll get right into it. Today, we're going to be working on my old BMX bike. Let's get it pulled out. So let's get this over on the stand and we'll kind of go through it real quick. So this is my old BMX bike. Um, this is pretty much what I used to do uh, as a kid and a teenager every day of my life. This is kind of the remnants of what's left after I you know, got out of high school and started getting into cars and working on a career and everything like that. I kind of kept it going year by year and then one year it just got stripped out I don't know by who but I, uh, I got it back together with some newer parts and uh, rode it here and there from time to time and now uh, last year I ended up breaking the chain so I ended up uh, breaking the chain this is a shadow conspiracy uh, half link interlock half link and this is about, this has got to be like 10 years old, maybe more. Uh, it's pretty worn out. Um, I actually snapped the link in half. I've actually snapped this chain about four times. And I ended up putting a, another chain on there, a KMC410H. And that one I ended up snapping immediately. So I, I've checked the alignment with the sprocket and the, and, the, and the driver in the rear. And it seems to be lined up very well I tend to break chains apparently so uh, but this one's so worn out I mean it was the fourth time it broke there's a couple links I'll show you here it's a few links that are so worn out they're just they're just loose in there so and it's probably one of the ones I messed with not gonna lie but we got a new one so I ended up picking up another Shadow Conspiracy interlock half link chain in chrome. I've always wanted chrome, was not able to run chrome because so many other people had chrome. I was like, ah, let's just do white. I got the white handlebars, whatever. So I got this in the mail from Dan's comp and we're gonna get this put on. It looks very similar to the one I bought like 10 years ago. So it should go on the same way. So let's get the bike up on the stand here and we'll start assessing what we need to do. So I'll just run through the bike real quick. Uh, this is a, I believe a 08 model McNeil uh, BB uh, frame. And it's got a various parts it's got some old stuff, it's got some new stuff. It's actually got an original uh, Odyssey 41 thermal dirt fork, redline cranks, uh, newer rear wheel, I don't even know what brand it is, newer tires, kink bars, uh, SM SM uh, stem, and just random seat and stuff like that, uh, seat post. And it's got redline cranks with a Shadow Conspiracy uh, chain wheel there so uh, pretty simple no brakes no nothing like that I used to run brakes but not anymore uh, older frame this is kind of right when the four pound frame started coming into play and um, you know it's it's definitely used it's it's got some stress stressing on it uh, the paint's starting to crack around the welds I think the tubing's okay but we'll uh, We'll see as we continue to ride this thing. But yeah, let's get this on a stand and we'll we'll run through getting this uh, new chain on. So definitely um, Shadow Conspiracy recommends uh, using their, their proper chain breaker. I don't have it and I haven't had it forever. It's probably why my chains break, but I just use this old uh, Bonna trigger one. It seems to work. I had to modify it a little bit to get some chains in there but it, it works pretty well 
So what I like to do is when I break a chain and I get a new one, is I like to lay out the old chain like so. I like to lay out that old chain and just kind of like that. Okay. So now we're in wide angle and get a little better view here. So end of the chain, end of the chain over here. So what I like to do is take the new chain. I like to ravel or set it next to it. And just to see where we need to be since I don't have to really measure anything out because the old chain was the proper length. So I just line the links up. So yeah, as you see, I lined the links up and we're going to the end here. And we have a little bit extra on the new chain, of course. I just look here and I did break this link. So we're gonna actually go to this link here because that one is broken and it would have extended into this one right here. So we're gonna go to this link right here and that's where we're gonna uh, size the chain up then. If you have like a regular style chain, what you're gonna wanna do too is actually fit it to the bike itself. You wanna wanna fit it to the bike itself. So what I like to do is I like to take the chain and kinda go on this top of the sprocket. And you're gonna want the, if you look here, you're gonna want the, the rounded end on the teeth. You don't want the straight edge on the teeth. So what I've liked to do in the past, if I need to line this up, you can also do it this way. I just think it's easier to take the old chain and lengthen it up. See, we're kind of loose there a little bit so we can actually see what we need. So if you see there, you'd see there that you're gonna have to break your chain right there to line up with that bottom one there. And then you cut it in. It seems a little loose. You can always move your wheel back to get that tension onto that chain. So I actually marked the chain with a Sharpie to which link I wanna uh, take off there. So we got that. All right, now that I have the chain marked, I'm gonna take my chain breaker, make sure it's set up to where the pins all the way out, the push pins all the way out. And we're gonna put it in flat edge or the rounded edge top the rounded edge will be on the top, flat edge will be on the bottom. So, let's see here. And then you just get that in there, make sure your push pin is lined up, push the pin out of the chain, and just start pushing it out. These are kind of tough. Like I said, Shadow Conspiracy recommends their own chain breaker for this, and I, I, I would too. So this pin here should never be pulled all the way out. Um, I learned that the hard way, but I got it now. We're at the length we need. So don't push that pin all the way out. Just leave it in that that link there. So, so now, got the chain ready to go together at the correct length. Now we're gonna start tightening in that pin. Just wanna make sure everything is lined up right. Looks like it is. I'm gonna go in. Look at that. There we go. All right. There it is. Chain's ready to get put on. 
Alrighty, so now that the chain's on, I'm just gonna crank There we go. So that's on. Now we're a little loose, so now we gotta adjust the back wheel. I loosened it up a little bit, but we need to get it loosened more. So we're gonna try to get this wheel centered along with tightening this chain. I like to use a hammer, stick it in between the wheel and the frame. And I can center everything out with the leverage of the hammer. Chain's got some tension. Just make sure. There we go. There we go. And we got a new chain. Perfect. Alrighty, so now the chain's on. Got everything working. It's got a little tension to her. You might have to adjust this back a little farther as the chain breaks in. Um, but for right now, it's working pretty well. So, and it's, it's nice and snug. Like I said, I don't like my chain too tight. I like it to have a little wiggle. And that's the most wiggle it has there. Like I said, once it starts breaking in, you might have to go back farther and farther, but with the wheel. But yeah, for right now, Alrighty, so we got the wheel on and tighten, chains on, new chain, Shadow Conspiracy, Interlock V2 I think it's called. Uh, so yeah, let's test it. So we got that chain on. Let's take a look. Looking darn good with the Redline Flight 2 crank chrome with the Shadow Conspiracy chain wheel and the Shadow Conspiracy half link interlock V2. All in chrome. Looking good. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for this video. A little different from what we usually do, um, but I BMX has is pretty much my first love, so uh, kept me out of trouble, got me into trouble, and I, I still like doing it, but a little little heftier nowadays. So, but I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Definitely subscribe to the video. Let me know if you'd like to see more BMX content. Um, probably get some clips this summer. Maybe do uh, you know some random things on the BMX bike. Street riding, park riding, maybe build some dirt jumps. I don't know, but uh, definitely a possibility to do anything with a BMX bike. But let me know. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day or night or whenever you're watching. Thanks, guys. Bye.